Good morning, Rachel Remond talks about uh, the fact that uh, professionals don't cry. And she says that on the second day of her internship in pediatrics that she went with a senior resident to tell some young parents about the uh, who had had an automobile accident and they had escaped without a scratch but their child had been killed. Very new to this doctor thing, when they cried, she said, I cried with them. After it was over, the senior resident took me aside and told me I had behaved very unprofessional. These people are counting on our strength, he said. I had let them down. I took his criticism very much to heart. By the time I was a senior resident, I hadn't cried in years. During that time, a young two-year-old baby left unattended for a moment, drowned in the bathtub. We, he, she says we fought to bring him back for over an hour, but we had to concede defeat. Taking my intern with me, I went to tell the parents that they had not been, we had not been able to save their child. Overwhelmed, they began to sob. After a time, the father looked up at me standing there, strong and silent in my white coat, the shaken intern by my side. I'm sorry, doctor, he said. I'll get a hold of myself in a minute. I remember this man, his face wet with father's tears, and I think of his apology with shame. Convinced by then that my grief was useless, self-indulgent waste of time, I made myself into a, the sort of person to some, who someone had to po apologize when he was in his pain. You think that might be true for some of us in our particular profession? that we built so many walls around us that we don't, we don't want to cry. We really don't want to identify with our world. Sometimes I think minister friends of myself, and in myself included, have that same spirit that has been indulgent in the lives of professional doctors. I'm praying that we'll all learn how to help somebody else when they're in pain. May God bless you this morning.